everybody, Kimo Sabi here, coming at you with another video. This one's off of Creativity Bay webpage, a write-up by Defina Shala, published October 9th, 2019, with the topic of the first solar plant in Kenya that turns ocean water into drinkable water and is seen as a potential reaction to global water crisis. As paradoxical as it sounds and looks, even though the earth is three-fourths covered with water and yet 2.2 billion people around the world, almost one-fourth of the world's population lack access to drinkable water, besides this, the world fears another future crisis due to climate changes, turning seawater into drinkable one because the, the current and future predicted floods will pollute the drinkable water sources. To prevent this from happening, the Gipar NGO has brought up the great idea of solar plants as a solution to the threat. Since Sub-Saharan Africa has the most population who is deprived of clean water sources, the inventors decided to start the pilot test in Kanga, a small town in Kenya, and they plan to spread this form of drinkable water access on other parts of the world. According to WHO and a report published by UNICEF, one in every three people lack access to clean, drinkable water, and the situation is even worse in Africa. This is the reason the Give Power NGO chose the small village of Kenya, Kanga, to turn Indian Ocean salty water into drinkable sweet water. This project has been operating since last year, and it looks promising. Access to clean water is a fundamental human right, and this solution supports it by an investment of just $20 that ensures water per person for one decade. What this solution differs from the regular distillation plant is that this is much more efficient and it uses a technology known as solar water farms, which involves the installation of solar panels that can produce 50 kilowatts of energy, high performance Tesla batteries to store it, and two water pumps which operate 24 hours per day. This system has the capacity to produce water of 35 for 35,000 people per day. It is way less polluting than the typical distillation plant, which leaves more salt residues and harms the plants and animals. The Gipar NGO has done a great job choosing the Kunga village to establish its first solar panel plant because after rainy seasons, the village is prone to extreme drought and its population is forced to move in search of clean water. But the problem is that the nearest water source is at least an hour away from the village and also it is not that clean because animals use it as a bath. That water is prone to many bacteria, which might cause many diseases. The plan is for this solar plant to be built in Haiti and Colombia, which is also in lack of fresh drinkable water. The half population of the world is endangered by water scarcity by 2025 because at this time only 2.5% of the planet's water is fresh and due to ice melting and climate changes the percentage will drop lower. The problem has been tackled by the Give Power and they are continuing to install solar planners on schools, businesses and emergency services in 17 countries but to do this they need funds which they are doing to improve not just the access to drinkable water but also improve the health conditions of the population and ensure a functioning economy despite the droughts by installing additional solar water farms. Hopefully you enjoyed the write up everybody. Be awesome if you hit that bell and subscribed. Great if you leave me with some comments. We'll see you in the next one everybody. Thanks a lot everybody. Kimo Sabi out. Bye.